Yeah, look, that, that initial start-up of the A-League was difficult. Uh, but looking back on it and looking how it panned out, um, I'm glad I made the, the choices I made in terms of going to Newcastle, then coming down to Sydney, and then as soon as the Wanderers started, um, you're at an age then where you're, you're confident in your ability, you're confident you're going to play, um, and you sort of pick a, a team off that and who the coach is and things like that. So it was something I jumped at. Here's Mark Bridge! Something not only in Australian football, but I think in Australian sport in general, you'll, you'll never see it again. You'll never see a start-up club um, start from nothing. Literally, we were getting changed where the offices are now. Um, we signed Shinji Ono, the players were getting changed on one side, um, we signed him on the other side, and Shinji Ono. So to see it from that uh, and the success we had in the first season to, to seeing the new facility being built and the new stadium being built, it's huge uh, to think that it all started from that first season and the players that, that are on this photo. So. so now we need to get back to the hard work to get back to where we were um, and we, where we deserve to be. To be able to explain the atmosphere is that you see the team warming up before the game. And you have the trainer maybe 10, 15 metres away from the starting 11 yelling out what uh, drill you're doing. So it might be like your groins or your hamstrings or something like that. We literally could not hear him speak. Uh, he had to start doing demonstrations, physical demonstrations, because we couldn't hear him. He's only 15 metres away. So I think it was 80 odd thousand people screaming the whole time from start to finish, lasers, uh, everything. Uh, the atmosphere was, was out of this world. So. Um, it was something special to, to be able to win that and lift that trophy up over there. Not really. I mean, it's weird. Everyone keeps asking me, are you feeling different the last game? Are you... There's nothing that really feels different. I don't know if something instantly comes over you in the 90th minute, because um, I've seen some players cry in that before, but... I don't know if that's me, like I don't know if I'm going to cry, I don't know if I'm going to have a smile on my face because I don't have to do another A-League pre-season. Like I, I don't know what it's going to be. Um, so ask me again after the 90th minute on the weekend um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, thank you to everyone uh, that's supported the club. I mean, not only through the good times at the start uh, when we started and we're winning everything, uh, but also the last couple of years where it's been really difficult for us as a club. So to those core people that have been around through thick and thin, thank you very much. And uh, to the others, we hope to have you back on board uh, as soon as possible.